Good Erev Shabbos Parshas Vayetze. If uh, you like uh, gematrias, then this uh, vort is the Dvar Torah for you. Uh, the Torah tells us that when uh, uh, the famous story of Yaakov um, having the dream and the famous ladder, he sees in his dream with angels going up and going down by Yifka Bamakom, uh, that he encountered this place, Yikach Me'avnei Hamakom, and he took from the stones Vayachalom, and he had a dream, Vihinei Sula Mutzavartza. And uh, there was a ladder in this dream that was firmly entrenched in the ground. It was a uh, head. Its its uh, head was uh, reaching to heavenwards. And the angels of Hashem were indeed going up and down this ladder. The Bala Turim suggests not less than seven different gematrias uh, for the term sulam or vihine sulam, and I would like to share uh, several of them with you and see if there's a common denominator that we can draw out uh, from the various approaches. Says the, uh, says the Bala Turim, Sulam Begematria Zekise HaKabod. Sulam is in Begematria, well, uh, Samech is 60, Vav is 6, Lamed is 30, so that's 96, and uh, 40, so that's 136. So the Gematria of Sulam is 136. Says the Balaturim, the Gematria equals Ze Kise HaKavod. This corresponds to God's heavenly throne. Check, that's number one. Next, Sulam, uh, says the Balaturim, the Gematria Vikates. It is, uh, corresponds to the word Vikates, which means the end of days, the end of time, referring to the time of Mashiach, the ultimate and final uh, redemption of the of the Jewish people. And Hashem showed him, Her'ehu Kitzei HaGolios, the end of all the exiles. Check, number two. Number three, Sulam Bigematria Sinai. Indeed, the word Sulam uh, has the same numerical value as Sinai, and that Hashem showed him uh, the Maimed Har Sinai, the Jewish people accepting the Torah, standing at the foot of Har Sinai, Ishechad, Belevechad, Check, yet another gematria. Next, sulam, says the uh, Balaturim, vihine sulam mutzav, that phrase, and behold, there was a ladder that was entrenched, standing in the ground. That is gematria uh, hakevesh, which is the ramp upon which the Kohen would go, uh, uh, would go on, the, uh, to, on the Mizbeach in the Beis HaMikdash. Uh, or alternatively, it's hakeves, which is a, uh, which is an animal that was uh, used in the uh, sacrificial uh, offerings in the Beis HaMikdash. Either way, check, we have yet another gematria. Uh, in addition, says the Balaturim, Vihine uh, Sulam, the gematria, the phrase Vihine Sulam is the uh, numerical equivalent to Vize Mizbeach HaOla. This is the altar of the, uh, of the sacrifice, of the burnt offering. And yet another uh, allusion here, another correspondence to the Beis Hamikdash, to the Avoda, to uh, to the to the sacrificial uh, rituals in the Beis Hamikdash. One more check. One more Sulam Bigamatria says the Balaturim. The numerical value here is Kol, the voice, meaning Shekol Tfilas Hatzadikim Hu Sulam Lamalachim that the voice, the sound of the voice, the pleading voice of the righteous people is a ladder for the angels uh, to go up and to bring the, uh, to bring the tefillahs up before Hashem. V'hatfilah hi ha'avoda, and the tefillah is like the avoda in the Beis HaMikdash. And so therefore we have this correspondence to tefillah, to avoda, to karbanos, to the Beis HaMikdash, Lekach kol mishemachavin betfilaso. Whoever has uh, uh, intentionality in their prayers, hasulam shalim b'shlevosa v'yecholim la'alos bo. Person can rise up, rise up on the rungs of the ladder, and uh, the tefilos can rise uh, to shamayim. Finally, check one more. Finally, sulam begematria mamon. Sulam is the gematria of money. Well, the gematria Oni, and also the gematria of uh, of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of poor of, of being poor. So uh, a person can be uh, wealthy, mamon, or a person can be poor. Kizei uh, ashpil because money has the power 
uh, to bring somebody up uh, socially, financially, and uh, to bring someone down in the physical and material world. So can we draw, here we have, I, don't, I lost track, uh, how many gematrias uh, is the Baal HaTurim suggesting here? And is there a common thread, a common denominator? We go from indigence and uh, wealth to Maimad Har Sinai and everything in the middle between the, those two. What is the common denominator, if any? And I would suggest that uh, the idea of the Sulam, Olam Viyardimbo, that uh, Yaakov has this dream, and the dream is one of reality. Reality. Until this point in time, Yaakov Avinu had been living in Eretz Yisrael, and, uh, and with whatever challenges he might have had, he was uh, under the protective guise, guidance, uh, the protective, uh, protective shield, if you will, of uh, living in his, par in his parents' home, in Yitzchak Avinu's home. And now he's going off into the real world. Real in this case, meaning the world in which he will have to uh, engage himself, by himself, for himself, with only the reliance on HaKadosh Baruch Hu, uh, to uh, uh, to uh, to support him uh, through his through his journeys, and this I believe is what the Balaturim is getting to from one perspective or another. What is real and what is authentic is uh, in avodas Hashem. Whether the avodas Hashem is serving in the Beis Hamikdash or Tefillah or standing at Har Sinai, Kabbalah uh, Satora, uh, offering Karbanos in the Beis Hamikdash, davening. Any of these things, what, is, what, is re what makes it real? What is real is the human experience. The human condition is such that we go up and we go down. There, are no, there, is, no, uh, the, the, there is no stability and consistency in life other than that which we bring through our emunah and bitachon and Hashem. But the, the, but the events of life and the experiences of, of life in our avodas Hashem, in our life's journey, is, as we all know from our life experience, uh, um, an ex a journey of going up and down. And that is what is true, and that is what is authentic. And that is ultimately what brings B'nai Yisrael to Har Sinai. And that is what makes a tefillah real. And that is what, uh, and that is what reflects the experience of tefillah, because even the experience of tefillah cannot always be uh, uh, on a high, but the experience of tefillah itself can uh, can sometimes fluc fluctuate. And finally, uh, the idea that uh, that uh, the sulam somehow represents the fluctuation between wealth and poverty, between indigence and uh, and and wealth uh, and riches, it means that this is the real life. Real, uh, this is real life, real authentic living in this finite material world. Uh, the life of riches and, uh, uh, and wealth and poverty and indigence, these things are fleeting. They go up and down. And that is what is real in this world. But what is real and ultimately true and eternal is the life of Avodos Hashem, which gets us to, uh, to the Kisei HaKavod. The life of the ups and the downs in the material world, in our Avodas Hashem in this world, ultimately, ultimately, Sulam Begematria, Ze Kisei HaKavod. This is the Kisei HaKavod. If we ultimately want to get to that place where we are close and to our Neshamas, our Neshamas being a Chelek, a Lokami Ma'al, a, a part of Hashem Himself, as it were, then the pathway to that is through real, authentic living. Not through being on, uh, you know, cloud nine all the time. Not through, uh, uh, it's, it's just not reality. It's not reality. It might be an ideal to aspire to, but it's not reality. And when Yaakov moves out from his parents' home, out into the quote-unquote real world, this is the lesson that he must take with him. Because understanding this gives the individual the power to rise, to climb, and to make the journey of life meaningful, purposeful, profound, and ultimately, with Hashem's help, successful. Have a good Shabbos.